hello, good people, and happy new year. Happy uh, 2020. This is the new decade that the good Lord has given unto us. So today I just wanted to come out and just share a couple of things that I've been thinking about um, with you. So I hope you will take the time to listen to what I have to tell you because trust me, you're going to be blessed. So the year 2019 is past and gone. And if the good Lord did not want us to be here the year 2020, he wouldn't have brought us through. So the fact that we are here, 2020, tells us that God has greater things in store for us. So, the year 2019 was a very, very good year. It had its own ups and downs. It had its own um, blessings. It had its own miracles. I don't know how the year was like for you, but the good Lord has been good to you. And he's been good to me too. Because I am alive today. And I'm very, very grateful for that. So, I just wanted to share with you Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. So, that is what I'm holding on to in this year 2020. If God has brought me through, he's telling me that he's got greater plans in store for me. So God is moved by his word. And so if his word is to prosper me, is if his word is to give me a hope and his word is to give me a future, I'm holding on to it. And 2019, no matter what it was for you, okay, we have to learn to burn the ships. We have to learn to cut the ties. We have to learn to let go of the disappointments and the failures that we probably had. Because we cannot be looking through the future and we cannot be looking forward to what God has in store for us by looking behind us and thinking about how 2019 was for us. It's just like trying to walk forward because your eyes are in front of you. Walking forward, looking in front of you and then you want to turn back and look behind you. You might not see what is coming and you might bump into a wall or and hit yourself. And you don't want to do that. You want to look forward and you want to keep going and you want to get to the expected um, destination that God has installed for you. Okay. So I just wanted to come out today and just to share with you that no matter what it is that happened in 2019, let it go. Learn to burn the ships. Learn to cut the ties. Learn to forgive. Learn to forget. Look forward into this beautiful 2020 that God has installed for us. God has some great opportunities that are going to come our way. God is going to bless us. He's going to favor us. He's going to um, give us all the beautiful things that our heart desires. You know, our blessings are going to come through. Our, you know, promotions are going to come through. Our healings are going to be completed. And the good and greater things. Okay. So, with that being said, when every new year that, you know, we go through, people have new year resolutions that they do come up with. And, you know, some of them might be trying to lose a couple of pounds, which would be so great for somebody like me to lose a couple of pounds. Some people might be trying to fix their credit. Some people might be learning how to, you know, be financial, um, get some financial freedom and all the good things that, you know, people are going to plan for 2020. So it doesn't matter what your New Year's resolutions are. I want you to hold on to God's word. I want you to hold on to Jeremiah 29, 11. His, I mean, his plans are great. His plans are huge for us. And he is going to do greater things. You know, God is moved by his word. So, no matter what it is that might come your way, remember, our tomorrow is going to be greater than our yesterday. Our tomorrow will be greater than our yesterday. Hold on to God's word. If you have a headache, you have to remind him. You said, by your stripes, I am healed. 
okay, and remain on his promises, remain on his word, because he's moved by his word. You know, he has greater future for us. He has greater plans for us. Thank you so very much for watching this channel. Thank you for for subscribing to Mama Yvonne and Kiss channel. If you have not already subscribed, don't forget, because this is going to be a great year. Love you. We really appreciate you for watching our videos. God bless you. Thank you. Happy 2020. Can't wait for what God has for us. It's going to be great. God bless you. Bye-bye.